Alright. Good morning, everybody. So, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to do a voiceover, but you're also going to see some video. So, let's see how this goes, because this, be this might be the new groove. Alright, so today I'm going to be making my second card from this, uh, looking, uh, from this looking Sharp Cacti set. Uh, today I'm actually using the sentiment Looking Sharp. I wanted to kind of do something new, do a little bit of word art, like how you see on commercials where they make the words fly over and all that. Now, my card is pretty static, so... My card is pretty static, so you're not going to see, like, the words fly over or anything like that. But I thought I was going to do something kind of cool, strike out a little bit, and put, like, the looking behind and put sharp in front of. I think I kind of did it. In retrospect, I probably put the sharp, I probably should have actually put the sharp on top of my sentiment, on top of my cacti. But you'll see that in a little bit. So, right now, I'm using the mask that... I, that I used with my last card. I kept that mask. It might still be on my desk. That's my desk. Yeah. It might still be on my desk somewhere, but <clears throat> I need to find it. Or just make another one. Duh. I can make another one. So, yeah, I'm just stamping this with, uh, I'm using this with, uh, Memento Rich Cocoa. Yeah, Rich Cocoa Ink. I like the way the Rich Cocoa Ink looks. This card was really inspired by just trying not to use green. That's all this card was. I was trying not to use green for this card just because it's so cactusy. You know, and I wanted to kind of expand my horizons a little bit. And I wanted to use some of my pink and main dyes, so that's what I did. So, alright, I'm just inking this up, looking, uh, inking this uh, sharp up with some. Part. Inking my sharp part, a sh <laughs> inking my sharp up with some Versamark, and I'm gonna heat emboss that with white ink. So let's look. My heating tool, you know, I know that when I first started heat embossing, I was thinking, why do I need a heating tool? Why can't I just use a hairdryer? So I actually did some research, and for anybody else, it might, you know, might do you a little bit of good to know. So heating tools get way hotter than, uh, get way hotter than, uh, blow dryers. A blow dryer is going to get up to like 400, maybe, at best. You don't want it to do much more than that because then it's going to start baking your hair. A heating tool, my heating tool has two temperatures and one of them is 1100. I'm not sure if that's the high temperature or the low temperature, but 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's just to melt this acrylic. And that's what an embossing powder is made out of, acrylic. So just to let you know, that's why you want to get a heating tool instead of a, instead of a, a blow dryer because it's just not going to work. So. Okay, so I can see myself here. I just did my background stamping with all the little with the little cacti plant flowers that are in the set. They had an outline of a cacti flower and then they had the solid part of the cacti flower. And you can use both of them to you can use both of them to kind of layer on and make one flower, or you could do what I did and just, you know, use some of them somewhere to make little backgrounds. I thought it would be cute. So I used Versamark, Rich Cocoa, and Desert Sand. Yep, yeah, to make the uh, to make the background. So let me see. Oh, and the paper that I used that's just regular Recollections paper. So uh, every now and again, Michaels will have a sale on all their papers, and the sixty-five pound cart stock that they have will be two dollars that's the only time that you will catch me buying this colored card stock when it's two dollars per pack and you don't even have to you you don't even have to buy the five packs like they say because the sale will say five packs for ten dollars you can just buy the one buy the one okay so i'm coloring now oh, again i just wanted to use a whole bunch of browns to do this this uh, this go around so i I think I just used like two browns. I have them, uh, yeah, I used E17 and I used, what was that, E6? It was E6. So, 
yep, I'm just gonna color those in. And then actually a little bit later, let me see what color, what other color I used. I used pearl. E14. And I just used that. Oh, yeah, it's just not popping up. So I used that to kind of keep the uh, keep the kind of motif going and to do my mixing. So yeah, and we're just about to get done. My next step, I'm going to be using my pink and main dies. I used two dies to get this frame, and I just glue it down, put it on my card, and call it a wrap. So I like the way it came out. And I had to cut the corners a little bit just to make sure that it fit on my card front. Thanks for being here with me, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you can always get notifications. Don't forget to hit that little bell and visit me on my other sites, Instagram, Pinterest. And don't forget to hit up my blog, cornerstonecreate.com. Subscribe there, too. Bye!